3D printer go burr. Burr. Hey guys, it's me Cubix. This is the Rubik's Connected. It is the smart cube made by Rubik's and I love this thing. It's a good cube performance wise. A little bit clunky, a little bit heavy, but I still kind of get the same times I do on any other cube. The electronics on the cube are also pretty good. I don't really get any desyncs. It seems to be able to catch up with any moves that I make. Not that my TPS is particularly fast, but I can't say the same thing about the GAN Smart Cube. And the thing that I like the most about it is the app. It's seamless, it works basically every single time. It can find the cube, matchmaking is decent, and yeah, overall the package is just really attractive, and I highly recommend this cube. All that being said, there's one thing about this cube, well it's not even really the cube, there's one thing about this product that I don't like, and that's the charging cable. For whatever reason, they thought that it would be a good idea to have... The problem with the charger is that it's actually too small. The way it works is it connects onto the yellow side of the cube, but because of the size of the charger, it forces you to actually have the yellow face up in order for the charger to stay put. Otherwise, if you have it on the side or on the bottom, the cube's gonna fall off or the charger's gonna fall off. It just doesn't work. And the main grievance I have with this, with the orientation of the charging cable and it not staying put, isn't even that the charging cable falls off. It's that when you charge the cube, you're forced to have the white face facing bottom. But that's where the charging LED is. So now you have a charger that forces the cube to be in an orientation where you can't see the charging LED, and even then, sometimes the charger will fall off. It's kind of a silly oversight, in my opinion, because it's overall a really, really wonderful product. But, just, ugh. In any case, I made a charging station, dock, whatever you want to call it, for the Rubik's Connected. The idea was really simple. I wanted the cube to be able to be oriented with white on top so that I could see the charging LED, which means the charger would have to be on the bottom. Now, because the charger is so small and wobbly, the cube can't stay put like that. So essentially, the idea was to build a base around the charger so that the cube could just sit on it and not fall off. I took some design cues from GAN's Smart Cube. Let me go find it. So here's the GAN Smart Cube. You see that the charging station is actually just this black tray, and it works really well. I think it looks okay, and it functions wonderfully. And that's one of my favorite things about this cube, actually. So I booted up SolidWorks, did about 10 minutes of CAD work, and uh, after some time 3D printing, I got this. The charger sits in this little dish and the cable runs down this grommet. And then this is just the top half of the station. Again, it has a grommet, so it just sits over the charger like so, just like that. And then there's little pegs, so you just press fit it together. And that's it. So here's how it looks. I went with a two-tone design, so it's obviously white on top, and then there's this nice cyan on the bottom. On the underside of the charging station, I also printed out a TPU base. Um, this is just so that things are a little bit more grippy on the table, and if you were to slide it around, it would sort of dampen the sound. It works really well. But yeah, the tolerances on everything are absolutely perfect. It's, I'm actually really happy with this design. And now when you have the cube, and you insert it into the charging station, uh, yeah, it actually stays put. So again, charging pins are down there. That's where the original charger is. There is the cable running through the backside, as you can see. And the cube needs to be charged, put in the docking station. Look at that, the LED lights up and you can now see it. Easy. So that is the Rubik's Connected charging station dock thingy. Uh, I really like it, I'm gonna use this all the time, again, Cube is really good. If you're interested in buying the Rubik's Connected, I'll have a link in the description. Thanks to the Cubicle for sending this out to me, and thank you guys for watching. Until next time, toodles. Haha, <laughs> all the pieces feel the same, don't they?